Tomorrow, penalties become more strict for a long list of crimes, including animal abuse and carjackings. WDRB's Monica Harkins details some of Kentucky's new laws. For the purpose of allowing members who wish to coast. One of the biggest topics for the 2024 legislative session revolved around safety. A sweeping criminal justice bill called the Safer Kentucky Act takes effect Monday. A person could now be charged with manslaughter if they're caught dealing fentanyl and the person dies. It makes carjacking a felony, makes street camping illegal in certain areas, and creates a three strikes rule that prohibits parole or early release for violent offenders convicted three times. We're trying to do everything we can and to, to create a better dynamic for the populace of the state in the Commonwealth. Another new law addresses youth gun violence. 15 to 18 year olds can be tried as an adult if a gun was used in the crime, like a shooting. Sex offenders convicted of abusing a minor will face higher penalties if they're in a position of power or special trust. People convicted of distributing child pornography will be required to serve at least 85% of their sentence. And Kentucky now includes artificial intelligence generated child pornography as a crime. In Kentucky Monday, adults wishing to enter pornography websites will have to use a form of identification to verify they're at least 18 years old to access the explicit website. There are a lot of laws that change uh, and we believe they are changing for the better or they would not have been changed. Also starting Monday, abuse of a cat or dog becomes a felony instead of a misdemeanor. In education, school districts will now have to have trauma-informed teams to better deal with mental health emergencies. And on the school bus, drivers can deny a ride to students with referrals for bad bus behavior. To support pregnancy and new moms, Senate Bill 74 incentivizes Kentuckians to get prenatal care by adding pregnancy to the list of qualifying life events for health insurance coverage. It also requires Medicaid to cover lactation consultations and breastfeeding equipment. As for addressing postpartum depression and maternal mental health, there'll be a new hotline to get in-person or telehealth care. It's called the Kentucky Lifeline for Moms. It's really important to just be compassionate um, and um, uh, to keep trying to never give up. With photojournalist Ariana Shuka, Monica Harkins, WDRB News.